Okay, welcome to Space Arena, the ultimate Python turtle graphics game tutorial part one, getting started. So let's go ahead and set up our window and just kind of get a place to actually create our game. So as I mentioned in the introduction, we're gonna be using the turtle module to for our graphics. And just a little quick note, I'm using an editor called Genie. It is a free open source editor. It works on Linux, Mac, and Windows. I definitely recommend downloading it. You'll see over here as I'm typing, it'll be adding some information that'll make it easier to find some things later in our game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set my screen width. And I'm gonna set it to 800. And I'm also gonna go ahead and set my screen height to 600. Now, in this particular case, what I'm doing is this is the playable area of the screen. So watch what I do here. I'm gonna set up a window object and it equals turtle.screen. If you've seen my other tutorials, this should be very, very familiar. This will actually give us the window in which we can draw stuff onto. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set up that window and I'm gonna put the screen width and the screen height. And so it's gonna be 800 by 600. I'm gonna give it a title, and I'm just gonna call this Space Arena. I know, great title. <laughs> by uh, at Tokyo EdTech, Tokyo EdTech. And finally, I'm gonna give the window a background color, and it's a space game, so the black the background's gonna be black, and just kind of natural for that. And then what I'm gonna do down at the bottom, just temporarily, I'm gonna type win.mainloop. And I'm gonna test it at this point. And this is something I definitely recommend doing is just testing often. So if there is a problem, you know where it's at. Okay, so we've got our screen. Looks about 800 by 600. I've got my title here. We are good to go. Okay, now, for the turtle, I'm gonna be doing a rendering method. I'm gonna be using the, the turtle making a turtle object to render all of the images and graphics on the on the screen. So watch what I do here. I'm just gonna create it, something I wanna call it a pen. Don't have to call it a pen, but that makes sense to me. And it is actually a turtle.turtle object. And I'm gonna set its speed to zero. This is not the speed that it moves, this is the speed of animation. Zero is the fastest animation. I'm gonna give it a shape. And just for a default shape, I'm gonna make it a square. And I'm gonna give it a default color. I'm gonna make it white. And I'm gonna say pen.penup, .pen because I don't want it to draw lines when it moves. And what I usually would do at this point is I would hide turtle, pen to hide turtle. So basically we won't be able to see it on the screen, but let's, let's just go ahead and comment that out for a second. So I'm gonna run it, show you what I mean. Okay, so we got an error because I took out uh, win.mainloop. So if you don't have win.mainloop, the program will just exit. Okay, so there is our pen. Now we actually don't wanna see the pen. There's a very nice feature uh, that we can use called stamp, but we don't need to see this particular turtle. We're just gonna be using it to draw other things. Okay. And then basically at this point, the game is ready to go. It's ready for us to actually start adding objects and to start adding classes. So I'm gonna go ahead and end that there. This is basically what we need to get the game started. So as long as you have this working, you are good to go. Okay, and you're ready for part two. See you there.